Welcome to HB Tuner's GM Gen 5 Training Part 35. In this training module, we're going to be exploring the basics of a mass airflow sensor and how it works within our engine control module programming and also taking a look at performing a rescale on our math curve if you've changed your stock airbox assembly out to an aftermarket intake. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with a mass airflow sensor, understanding the basics the fundamentals of how the sensor actually works and understanding how to perform a rescale if we've changed our intake from stock to an aftermarket unit in order to make sure that the math calibration table is scaled and set up right. Now we're going to go through in future training modules here very shortly in our training course how to go in and actually calibrate and tune the mass airflow curve in closed loop and also in open loop full throttle conditions but for this tutorial we're just understanding the basics of how everything works and how we need to interface with the mass airflow table to make sure things are scaled correctly. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do here is go in and find where the mass airflow calibration table is going to be found in our calibration file. So I have a 2018 Yukon Denali base file. This is the file I've read out of the vehicle. I have not altered anything in the file yet. If we go in here to the engine tab, we're going to jump in from general here into airflow and then airflow into general tab under airflow. We're specifically going to be taking a look at our math calibration right here. So we're going to find we have these two different tables that we can see here in the calibration file. Most likely your file will have two tables that are available. Now, we're only going to be focusing and working on the very first table here, the airflow versus frequency. We're not going to be taking a look at airflow two versus frequency. This table is in place for twin turbo application where we would have dual mass airflow sensors on each intake for each turbocharger. So what we're focusing on is just going to just be this airflow versus frequency table right here. Now when I open up the table, we're going to find that we have a table that's based on mass airflow frequency. That's in units of hertz. We can see here the gray values on the top of the table. These are the hertz values. This is the frequency that comes out from the sensor. So the way this is going to work, the mass airflow sensor is fitted into the intake assembly that's going to be measuring the amount of airflow or air mass coming into the engine at any operation point. The engine control module needs to know what that airflow air mass is going to be because it calculates fuel and spark timing and torque calculations based off that. And if you're an automatic transmission equipped vehicle, it'll also drive your shifting characteristics for your transmission because a lot of the, uh, the automatic trans control is based on torque. So we need to make sure that this fundamental basic sensor is calibrated properly. Now, if you have a stock intake air box intake assembly on the engine, you don't need to go in and actually calibrate this table. It should be valid right out of the box from GM. But if you're installing an aftermarket intake of any sort, this table will likely need to be recalibrated. We're going to talk about how to do that and rescale it here in just a little bit. But what we're going to find here is that sensor is registering the airflow at any given time. So at idle, when the throttle plate is relatively closed, we have a little amount of airflow coming into the engine. The mass airflow will detect what that is and report back that exact airflow coming into the engine. So we can deliver the proper fuel spark and torque calculations for the engine control module. Now if we're at full throttle, we're gonna have a lot more airflow coming into the engine, especially if we're at high RPM, four, five to 6,000 RPM, we're gonna have a considerable amount of airflow coming into the engine. Now, the mass airflow sensor will register the amount of airflow passing over the sensor. It'll report back to the ECM in a frequency signal. So the output from the actual MAF sensor is going to be in frequency, and that's what we see up at the top here at the table. And then it'll do a direct lookup in this table to determine what that amount of airflow coming into the engine is going to be. So for example here, if I'm showing that the sensor is registering something like 6,000 hertz from the sensor signal in my engine operation, it's going to do a direct look up to the cell point and say, okay, well, we have 84 grams per second worth of airflow entering our engine. Based on knowing that, we can figure out what fuel we need to deliver to the engine, what the spark timing that we need to deliver the engine is going to be, also what the torque production of the engine is going to be based on that amount of airflow and spark timing. So the mass airflow, looking at this, is very straightforward, very basic table. It's a direct one-to-one -one lookup, so it literally looks up the frequency and the airflow, and then it uses that for all kinds of internal calculations. So it's an imperative that we get this table calibrated right. It's one of the most fundamental basic tables that needs to be calibrated. And if it isn't, we'll find that we have all kinds of other problems that are gonna come into play 
with our Gen 5, specifically for uh, torque calculations, which drive a lot of the features and functions within the ECU's operation. Okay, so now that we understand that fundamental relationship, it's thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.